pricier side, but I promise you it is worth it. This perfume is long lasting. I wear this and wash my clothes and after taking them out of the, there goes my refrigerator, please ignore that. After taking them out of the dryer, I can still smell a little bit of my flower bomb perfume on the clothing. So that goes to show, uh, show you how long lasting it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are here for the first time, welcome, welcome, go right ahead and get comfy. And if you have been here for a while, welcome back. As you can see from the title of the video, today I will be sharing with you guys 11 perfumes or 11 fragrances that you can use during the spring slash summertime. They are all my favorite. I love all of them, but I will be showing you the ones that I use a little less. And then I'm going to be showing you the ones that I use a little bit more. The ones that are like at the top of my list that I love to use a lot. For disclaimer purposes, this video was not sponsored. I purchased all of these items, so you will be getting my honest reviews and my honest op opinion. Before I, I almost said opinion, but before I get into the video, you guys know that I really like to share with you the lipstick that I am wearing in each of my videos. And for today, I am using the MVP from Fenty Beauty. This lipstick is really, really nice. I love it. I have been wanting to get it for a while. Finally got it over the weekend and I've worn it maybe two to three times and I really really love it so this is what it looks like. At the top it has this um, logo that says FB. I don't know if you can see through that but this is the lipstick that I'm wearing today. Don't forget to like this video share with as much people as you can or with as much people as you want to and if you're gonna have any questions about any of these fragrances you could go ahead and leave that in the comment section and i will definitely respond to you guys as soon as i can without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into the video my first fragrance is going to be the refugee essence from charlotte rue and i know that some people say re refuge and some people say refugee but i am not a hundred percent sure which one it is so if you want to give me a little bit of an idea or if you want to share with me what you would call this perfume you can go ahead and leave that down in the comment section but this is what it looks like this tiny bottle and for all of these fragrances i'm going to be telling you about the notes i'm also going to be sharing the prices the fluid ounces in each bottle and i'm also going to be sharing with you the brand and the well maybe not the place that i bought it but i have my notes here so i will be sharing as much information as possible about each of these fragrances so for the refuge or refugee essence from charlotte rue this is a 1.7 fl bottle and it has the fragrance notes of yellow raspberry white peach and bright green apples and creamy sandalwood this one I believe retailed for about $15, so it was not expensive, which is really good. The only reason why I don't use this perfume very often is because it is not as long lasting as I would love for it to be, but it does smell really good. For a fragrance like this, 
I would use this if I am running errands or if I'm not gonna be out for a really, really long time. It's probably okay if you wear it with like body mist or lotions that have a bit of a fragrance in it, but for now, this has to be number 11. And as I mentioned before, I like all of these perfumes. I just want to share the ones that I use a little less first, then we're gonna move on to the ones that I use the most. And for the Charlotte, for the Refugee Essence, it does have the accords of fruity, floral, and free-spirited. So as I said before, this would not be a go-to perfume for me if I was going out for a long time or if I was gonna be out for a long time, but it is definitely good for running errands or just being out for like an hour or two. Not very expensive. Would definitely recommend for people who want to smell good but don't want to be like out there or they don't want their for their perfume or their fragrance to be too overbearing or too overpowering so charlotte rue essence refugee essence is in the number 11 spot now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the perfume that i have in the number 10 spot and that is the 4711 or the 4711 and this is what the packaging looks like it kind of gives me like a vintage kind of feel when i look at the bottle and for the lid it does not have a dispenser so this is what it looks like this is one of the reasons why it is in the number 10 spot it doesn't smell too strong but it has a bit of a i wouldn't say fruity it just smells vintage it looks the bottle looks vintage and it smells <laughs> just like what it's what it looks like for this perfume it is more long lasting than the refugee or refuge essence from charlotte rue but i would also not wear this if i am going to be out for a long time for a perfume like this i would probably wear this to like a little picnic <laughs> a little picnic or a little like gathering with friends maybe like a lunch date or just not something that's gonna have me out of my house for five hours and for the price for this one it retailed for $22.79 and some of the accords for this fragrance are citrus aromatic fresh spicy woody and white floral i was trying to remember the word spicy this is what it smells like it smells like spices like spices it smells like spices I would say kind of like cinnamon which is crazy to me because I don't like cinnamon but it kind of reminds me of the I don't like the smell of cinnamon but it kind of reminds me of the smell of cinnamon so I would definitely recommend this for someone who is more of an old soul someone who likes vintage looks and vintage vintage smells I would definitely recommend the 4711, not expensive, not overbearing, and it is also not very common because I don't hear a lot of people talking about this fragrance, but some of the fragrance notes for this 4711, I'm going to start with the top notes, some of them are lemon, bergamot, and orange. And then for the middle notes, there's lavender and rosemary. For the bottom notes, it is Neroli or Neroli, if I'm not saying that correctly. Again, you can car uh, correct me in the comment section below. And then I am assuming that this word is pet petit grain. P-E-T-I-T-G-R-A-I-N. 
As I said before, it is really nice, not very common. So if you're looking for something to just stand out a little bit during the summertime or during the springtime, I would definitely recommend the 4711. And I would also use this like when it's coming down closer to the winter time, but I think it is better in warmer climate. The 4711 is a 3.4 FL and as I mentioned before, it was only $22, so it is very inexpensive. Now for the perfume that we have in the number number 9, number 9, number 9 spot, I still have the box for this one because I don't use this very often because of how strong it is and this is the Adam Levine for women and this is what the box look the box looks like I take that off and this bottle is shaped like it has <laughs> it has the shape of a mic which I thought was pretty cool as well so let me hold that up a little bit closer now for this Adam Levine perfume oh my god it is Super strong. This is for the people who want to go out and be seen. For the people who want someone to actually walk up to them and give them a compliment, I would definitely recommend the Adam Levine for women. The only reason why I have it in the number nine spot is because I am more of a fruity, citrusy type of person when it comes to my fragrance. I prefer my perfumes to smell fruity and this does not smell fruity at all. I've had it for a while. I don't use it very often but this one is really long lasting. Like you could have this on for maybe five to six hours and you can still smell it on your skin. Well, I guess it depends on the person because everyone's body chemistry is different with different fragrances. But for me, this Adam Levine <laughs> perfume is very, very long lasting. And this bottle is a 3.4 FL as well. And this one also retailed for about $65. So this one was $65. A little bit pricey, but still, in my opinion, a little bit more affordable than other perfumes. So I would definitely recommend this Adam Levine perfume for those people who are more outspoken or more more like out there more brave than i am but i wouldn't wear this every day because no ma'am it is way too strong <laughs> but some of the accords for this adam levine perfume are warm spicy woody vanilla balsamic powdery amber, aromatic, sweet, and also white floral. Now the spiciness and the woodiness combined in this perfume is just too strong for me. The, the, it, it, it makes me have a runny nose and runny eyes whenever I wear it. I love it so much. I wish I could wear it more often, but I just can't, but I am putting you on to this perfume and some of the top notes are spices marigold i think this is saffron citruses and then for the middle notes it has australian sandalwood indian jasmine and rose petals for the base it just has vanilla and benzoin now the sandalwood in this perfume is just a no for me. I hate the smell of sandalwood, but you guys are gonna notice a trend in all of these perfumes. I don't like sandalwood, but for some reason, the way they mix it in with the other ingredients for this one is not too, 
it is not very noticeable but I can tell that it is there because I am not a sandalwood person which is crazy to me that I can love this perfume so much but on the list for number nine is Adam Levine for women if you are looking for something more it, to me it has a masculine kind of smell but still feminine so I would say 50 50 so if you are that type of person then go ahead by all means grab this one I know that you will like it because it is really really in nice. the number eight spot I have this Jimmy Choo perfume it's almost gone well it's it's pretty much gone but I still have a little bit left in this bottle I love this perfume I love this perfume and I would buy this perfume again I've had it for a year so it lasted me for a really long time that means it's really long lasting. All it took for me was maybe like four sprays and I would be smelling good for the entirety of the day. So this perfume though retails for, let me look at my notes, 60 to to $100. So it is a little bit on the pricier side for the bigger bottle. I'm I'm certain that they have smaller sizes because I have seen them before, but this one is anywhere between $60 to $90. But this bottle is the 3.3 FL bottle, so it is the bigger bottle. I, in my opinion, if I have to buy a smaller bottle of perfume for $50, I will save that $50 and then wait until I have another $30 to just buy the bigger bottle so that it can last me for a longer time. But for this Jimmy, Ch Jimmy Choo perfume, some of the accords are sweet, patchouli, fruity, woody, warm, and spicy. <laughs> it does have a little bit of caramel, earthy, green, floral, and I think this is aquatic. It does remind me of like springtime, summertime as the accords, as I mentioned in the accords, it does have a fruity smell and it also has a woody smell, which again is crazy to me that they were able to mask that woody smell. They did a really good job of hiding that and I really appreciate that because I love this perfume i love the fruity smell of it but i am not very big on woody or sandalwood smells as i mentioned before so that is also a plus of having this jimmy choo perfume for some of the notes the top notes are mandarin orange and pear the middle notes are green notes and orchids and for the base note it says Top Tofi, I've never really heard of that um, note before in a perfume except for this Jimmy Choo perfume. So if you are familiar with that fragrance notes or fragrant note, just go ahead and, you know, enlighten me down in the comment section. But that is it for the number eight spot, the Jimmy Choo perfume would definitely recommend for my girly girls, you know. <laughs> this one is really, 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 really nice. So the fragrance that sits in the number eight position is a fragrance that I just added to my collection about two weeks, three weeks ago. And it is the Vera Wang Princess. And this is what the box looks like. I have it outside of the box. This is what the, the actual perfume bottle looks like, which I think is really cute. The lid looks like a crown, and then there is also a little ring attached to the top of the bottle. So for this perfume, it gives me like movie night type of vibe, you know, date night, but like movie night vibe. It is subtle, but so soothing very very nice very fruity 
And for people who want to start to have a perfume collection, but you don't really want to break the bank or you can't really afford to pay like $500 for a bottle of perfume, I would recommend the Princess for starters because this perfume only retailed for or it retails for anywhere between I believe you see 35 to 40 dollars so 35 to 40 dollars is what you're looking at for a 3.4 fl bottle which in my opinion is a steal <laughs> because of how good this perfume smells i really love it i've been wanting it for a while so when i saw it i decided to get it because why not <laughs> it is not as commonly used either because maybe it is but i'm probably not aware because i'm probably just not into you know fashion or things like these like some people are but this will really have you smelling good for a mm, let me see let me see let me see maybe for like a uh, three to five hours i would say but again it de it depends on the person and it depends on your body chemistry but for me this one is long lasting perfect for the summer perfect for the springtime and for some of the accords it is floral citrusy and rosy so it smells really subtle but very very soothing it it's calming in my opinion it kind of reminds me of lavender but it's it doesn't have lavender in it but it's very calming it's a very calming smell some of the top notes for this perfume are lily and then lily of the valley gardena and lotus for the middle notes it has rose jasmine mandarin orange iris and bergamot and for the base notes it has sandalwood again as i mentioned before you guys are going to notice a trend in my perfumes because there is a certain type of perfume that I like and I stick to what I like because if I'm gonna pay money for it, I need to be able to wear it. So I stick to what I know. I stick to the evil that I know. So you're gonna notice a trend. This one does have sandalwood, which again is mind-blowing because i am not a really big fan of sandalwood but it does i don't know sandalwood does something for these fragrances it is so weird but it is it works it works and i i love this perfume so i would definitely recommend the vera wang princess for the spring slash summertime hmm. well in the number seven spot i have this one that is a little bit more well known or well used than the others and that is the couture couture <laughs> by juicy couture and i am deeply in love with this perfume just look at the packaging I remember when I was a little girl and I've, you know, back then I really wanted a Juicy Couture perfume, but of course your mom's not gonna buy you a Juicy Couture perfume. It's, it's really nice, really fruity, really sweet. It just reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, if that makes any sense. It's a really nice perfume. It has this nice zipper on top. I do not have my boxes because when I 
store my fragrances I have to have enough space for them so I don't keep them in boxes but this look at the look at that isn't this such a nice cap but anyways this one is really nice and it is a 3.4 fl bottle as well some of the accords for this one are floral fruity it does have a little bit of a caramel which of course i can't tell either i'm just like so blown away by how much they put in you know they put so not much but they put so little in this but it is so good i think this is where less is more falls into place this one retails for anywhere between 35 to 50 dollars depending on the size that you are going for and the some of the top notes are african orange flower mandarin or mandarin orange and grapefruit grapefruit in a perfume is just chef's kiss and then for the middle notes it has plum jasmine and honeysuckle for the base notes it has amber vanilla and guess what sandalwood it has sandalwood in it i am just blown away by how i don't like sandalwood but it is included in all of the perfumes that i have mentioned so far this is a good perfume for a daytime date that's where i would wear it to of course you can wear any of these fragrances to wherever whatever occasions you want to i'm just giving an example based on what i do or what i would use the perfume for i think this is also nice for people who want to also be able to smell good for a long time this is also very long lasting which gives it another plus in my book so i would definitely recommend the say it with me couture couture <laughs> by juicy couture so this is the number seven perfume that i am going to be showing you guys for today for number six we will be well it's six i'm gonna be showing you number six and number five but it is kind of a a pair of perfume and i'm gonna start off with the famous pink sugar this perfume is dear to my heart and i say it's dear to my heart because when i first when i got my first bottle in 2018 i hated it i hated it but then when i realized that i don't need more than two to three pumps i fell in love instantly like this pink sugar perfume is just like the best. If you don't have this in your closet, what are you doing? Like, why don't you have pink sugar in your closet? And then for the number five spot, I have the Berry Blast by Pink Sugar. So it is the same brand, but this one is just a different fragrance it is pink sugar but this one is more of a berry smell and these perfumes retail for anywhere between 20 to 25 dollars and both of these bottles are 3.3 fl bottles Whew. now for the pink sugar for the pink sugar the main accords are sweet so it has a sweet caramel, vanilla, fruity, soft, spicy, powdery kind of smell. I would just wear this everywhere. I love it so much that I don't have an occasion for this perfume. It depends on my mood. And it is also very, very long lasting. So if you're looking for something that's gonna last for a very long time, 
definitely go for the pink sugar. This is lovely. This is like a all time MVP. Love this perfume. For the Berry Blast, some of the main accords are sweet, fruity, caramel, vanilla, and it has a bit of a cherry smell to it as well. For the top fragrance notes for this Berry Blast are the main notes. It has blueberry, of course, blackberry, orange, and bergamot. For the middle notes, it has cotton candy, <laughs> it has cherry, wild strawberry, which is my favorite. I love anything strawberry. Smell, look, flavor, love strawberries. And something that stood out to me the most was that it has a note in the base note or the, the bottom note that is called cork and I have never ever heard of that before but it really does stand out. I know that they have a velvet pink sugar and a citrus pink sugar that came out when the the berry blast came out but I am yet to get a hold of those. They are on a list of must-haves for me for the pink sugar fragrance haul or for the pink sugar collection and then for the pink sugar the original baddie <laughs> some of the top notes are raspberry orange my door is making noises there we go <laughs> fig leaf bergamot and then for the middle notes it has cotton candy as well it has red berries, strawberries, and lily of the valley. For the base notes, it has caramel, vanilla, musk, tonka bean, and guess what? Guess what? Sandalwood. <laughs> this pink sugar, that was my back on my couch. <laughs> this pink sugar has sandalwood as well. Can you believe it? I am just blown away. Is it that sandalwood is like a requirement? Not a requirement, but is it just a, a note that is used in most perfumes? I am uncertain. Please leave a comment below and let me know if sandalwood is used in most fragrances because most of the fragrances that I own does have sandalwood in it. So I I don't know. I'm I'm confused about that, but nevertheless, it is doing what it's supposed to do and these fragrances smell awesome. So definitely go out and grab your berry blast from Pink Sugar and your Pink Sugar for this spring slash summer so that you can have them be a part of your little collection so pink sugar 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend <laughs> we are winding down nicely now we are at the perfume that is in the number three spot and i have to tell you that this perfume has my heart it will always have my heart i will always buy this perfume when i run out it's just hard for me to live without it and it is the rebel by rihanna she did her thing with this perfume like i will stand under the umbrella i will work 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 i will be a what is one of her other songs i would be you needed me i would be diamonds i love this perfume I love this perfume and I could go on and on, but let us stick to the topic at hand. This is what the Rebel perfume looks like. This bottle is just cute. Don't ask me where my, my covers are because <laughs> I don't have them. I don't have them. I don't have them. But this perfume is 
just breathtaking. It, I love it, I love it, and I wish I discovered it sooner. I know that she has some other perfumes, and I also want to add those to my collection as soon as possible because I'm telling you, Rihanna, if you smell like this girl, you smell real good because this perfume smells good. It nice bod. The perfume, nice. Nice. Anyways, <laughs> this perfume retails for $60 and it has a 3.4 FL. It is a 3.4 FL bottle. And some of the accords are fruity, sweetie, vanilla, coconut. Ooh. It smells powdery, lactonic, amber, musky, and woody. This perfume smells good. I think the coconut in this perfume is what gets me every time because I love coconuts. I love anything that is fruity, citrusy, islandy, oceany, you know, because I'm an island gal. Yeah, Yachty Street. So this is really, really nice and I would definitely recommend for the spring slash summertime. In all honesty, I would wear this perfume all year round. That is how much I love it. It is really, really long lasting, really strong and really out there, you know? So if I wanna be out there and if I want to, you know, have my presence felt when I enter a room, I would definitely wear this Rebel Perfume by Rihanna and some of the fragrance notes. So the top fragrance notes are peach, plum, and red berries. The middle notes are coconut, hibiscus, tuberose, and violet. And for the base notes, it's vanilla, patchouli, musk, and amber. This one does have a woody kind of smell, but it is not very overpowering, which I really, really love. I, this perfume, it is what it is. There is not enough words for me to tell you how much I love this perfume, other than all I can say is go out and get it. You will love it. Go and get it and then come back and thank me in my comment section later because you will fall in love instantly. In my opinion, it is very inexpensive for how good and how long lasting it is. The smell is, it's undescribable. Well, I just described it, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so just go out and get it and you will love it. It's long lasting as I said, perfect for the spring slash summertime, but I would definitely wear this all year round. You know, I, I would wear it to bed too, but I don't wanna run out of it too quickly as if there's not more available, but that is just me expressing how much I love this perfume and how good it smells. So, Riri, you're in number three. In the number two spot, I have this Coach Floral Perfume. And as you can see, it has the little keychain, which I thought was really cute. And this is in the number two spot, not because I love it more than I love the Rebel by Rihanna, but because they are like on the same level. This one is a bit more on the expensive side. Depending on the size that you get, it retails for anywhere between $50 to $100. Just like the, which one did I mention earlier that, I think the Jimmy Choo as well was anywhere between $50 to $100. But this Coach perfume I recently discovered about mm, eight months ago. 
and I've had it since then. I really love it. This perfume now is for, you know, one of those classy, elegant date nights. I would definitely wear this if I am going out on a date, like dinner date, you know, one of those sexy dates. Would definitely, it's, I would definitely recommend. It's very feminine. It gives me feminine, soft, girly, grown, mature. You know, I could go on and on, but you get the idea. So it is a bit of a strong smell, which to me is okay with this perfume because I love it so much. So again, if you want to be seen, this is definitely a go-to. Always get compliments for this perfume. And for some of the accords, it is sweet, fruity, citrusy, warm it doesn't have any spice but it is floral and it is also a little bit of a caramel which is fine with me as well because it is it smells really good it smells so good i think it's worth the hundred dollars and it's still not the most expensive perfume on the market so i would Definitely go out and get it if I were you, if you're looking for something. I think this is good a good starter, uh, Is it? I wouldn't say designer. I guess it's a designer perfume, but I think the price is good for a starter designer perfume. So go out and get this Coach perfume. And I'm sure there's places that you can shop around to see if you could get it for a little bit of a cheaper price. This is also a three, I said 3.4, uh, but let me see. This is a 3FL bottle, which is a lot as well. You're getting that for your money. And for the top fragrance notes, it has pineapple, pink pepper, orange, lemon, and bergamot. And for the middle, it, ha it has Gardena, Tea Rose, Jasmine, and for the, what do I keep saying? And, and for, the, for the bottom notes, or for the base notes, it has Musk, Patchouli, Vanilla, it's Woody, and it also has, of course, Sandalwood. Sandalwood does it again. Sandalwood does it again, but I really love this perfume It is great for the summertime For the people who have allergies, you know I don't even want to give like that type of recommendation because we're all different But sometimes it does kick off my allergies, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't care care <laughs> It can kick off your allergies from time to time, but because of that, I don't like to spray this perfume in my front region. I usually spray it on the back of my neck or in my arm, my crease right here, or on my legs, which it does last for a really long time. I usually get a full day's wear from having the, from wearing the Coach floral perfume so that is in the number two spot we are gonna go ahead and move to the perfume that i have in the number one position the one that owns my heart but before i go any further please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done that and i'm gonna give you two seconds while i reach for my other fragrance <laughs> so go ahead and subscribe and if you have made it to this part of the video and you have a question as i mentioned before don't be afraid to leave your comment down below asking me a question i also have a bonus item for you guys in this video i have 11 perfumes but i have a bonus that i will be sharing with you right after i share with you my number one perfume which is the Flower Bomb 
<laughs> by Victor Rolf. Yes, Flower Bomb by Victor Rolf is my favorite perfume. It's my favorite perfume. I discovered it in 2018 as well, and I have not looked back since. This perfume will always, if someone came up to me and said, I will buy you a unlimited amount of this perfume for the rest of your life, you have to pick one perfume that you really love, I would definitely pick the Flower Balm by Victor Rolf. This perfume is so nostalgic so sexy and grown just like the rihanna perfume it is really like out there and to me it is a luxury perfume because it is a little bit pricey but it is worth every single penny that you will pay for this perfume this is what the bottle looks like it has the little flower on top there this is magic in a bottle magic in a bottle this flower bomb perfume is a 3.4 fl bottle and it retails from anywhere between 90 to 116 dollars which is a little bit on the pricier side but I promise you it is worth it. This perfume is long lasting. I wear this and wash my clothes and after taking them out of the, there goes my refrigerator, please ignore that. After taking them out of the dryer, I can still smell a little bit of my Flower Bomb perfume on the clothing. So that goes to show, uh, show you how long lasting it is as for the accords for this fragrance it is a floral patchouli white floral woody citrusy powdery sweet musky warm spicy and rose kind of smell love it so much and the citrus part of it is what stands out to me the most and of course it has woody smells in it which again don't know how but they have managed to mask it very well see i don't know much about about perfumes i'm just sharing with you guys ideas that you can use to wear during this summer or spring season but I am telling you that this Flower Bomb perfume is something that I will use all year round. As you can see, the bottle is still kind of full because I just re-upped. Well, my husband got me a new bottle in December for Christmas and it is now March? No, it's April. <laughs> so it's been a couple of months, but I have used it very often and I still have a lot left in it because it is very strong and I don't use more than two to three pumps because I don't need more than that. It is really, really nice and I love that about it. For the top notes for the Flower Bomb by Victor Rolf, I have tea, bergamot, and osmanthus. I assume that what that's what that is. For the middle notes, there's orchid, jasmine, rose and forsia then for the base notes it has patchouli musk and vanilla this is really 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 nice would definitely recommend 10 out of 10 it is on the number one spot flower bomb and i know that they have other flower bomb has other they have other perfumes I have tried them, but they still didn't stick with me as much as this one does. It might be just the placebo effect. I don't know. I might be a little bit biased. Same for the Coach Floral Perfume. Coach has a number of different smells that you can choose from. Juicy Couture has a number of different smells that you can choose from. 
Jimmy Choo also has a, you know, you could choose from their, their line. They have different fragrances. And the same for Vera Wang. I think there's more fragrances that you can choose from. You don't necessarily have to pick the one that I like. And of course, as I mentioned before, Rihanna also has other fragrances. The Adam Levine. All of the perfumes that I mentioned today have other fragrances. So if you don't necessarily want to go for the ones that I showed you guys today, or if you're not really into the fragrance notes that I shared with you today, you can check out the other fragrances that they have to see if you can find something that suits you better or something that suits you best. So that is the top 11 perfumes that I have for today that you can use for the summer or the springtime or whenever you want. I have a few other perfumes that I want to add to my collection, but whenever I get those, I will share that with you guys. If some of the bottles do look a little full, that's because I've either had it for a long time, I don't use it very often, or I have purchased a new bottle for a fragrance that I have been using for a number of years. Nevertheless, they are all lovely and I love them all. Now, I promised you guys that I have a bonus or I told you guys that I have a bonus that I wanted to share with you guys. And this is the All Over Body Luminizer Transfer Resistant Skin Glow Fresh Coconut Scent in champagne and it is from the brand hard candy and no this is not sponsored i am tapping into my grown woman era or my grown woman self so i discovered body oil with shimmer and i found this at walmart so i'm putting you guys on i'm not gatekeeping Thank you. <laughs> so I found this at Walmart. It was only $6, which is pretty good for a 3.8 FL bottle. But, you know, it adds that extra glow to your skin for the summertime. You know, when you step into the sun, you want to be a little bit, you know, blinding to others. Just kidding. But this is really nice. It smells really good. It's not strong, but you can smell a little bit of a coconut. So I just would rub this on my shoulders, my chest, my legs. This will be perfect for when you are wearing shorts. Shorts, legs, lovely, beautiful. So if you are looking for something to you know, a body oil that is not expensive but is very shimmery and very long lasting and doesn't transfer to like your bed sheets or your couch or whatever, or even your clothes, this one is perfect. So I'm putting you guys on to this luminizer. It also gets off your body pretty quickly as soon as I, oops, as soon as I jump into the shower soap water it usually comes off pretty quickly for most of the fragrances i am pretty sure that you guys could order them on amazon some of them i ordered on amazon some of them i ordered on fragrance.net some of them i ordered from ulta sephora so there's a lot of different places that you guys could shop around to find the products and usually different places have similar prices but sometimes you can find lower prices like slightly lower by like five to six dollars at different locations so just shop around to see where you can find each perfume or if you see a perfume that you like just shop around to see where you can get the best prices but amazon is one of the places that i would definitely recommend to see if you can find one all or any of these fragrances we have come to the end of this video but as i always say do not be sad because there will be more videos coming up soon go ahead and subscribe 
like and share our little family is growing and growing let's let's not stop let's keep going share with your family members and your friends aunties uncles grandpa grandma whoever i am sure that i will have videos or i have videos on my channel that can be helpful to someone anyone for the music in my background shout out to zane for creating all my music intro outro i will all always i will always leave his information down in my description box for anyone who wants to reach out to him but thank you guys so much i realize that i say but in my videos a lot to transition my sentences i will definitely work on that it is just such a bad habit thank see i almost said it again Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I will be recording for you guys a Old Navy Spring Haul. I will also be doing a banana bread recipe on my channel pretty soon so stay tuned. Thank you, thank you, thank you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.